Hi, I'm Ethan Kwan, and today I'm going to be showing you what would happen if we brought the sun to Earth. Four different samples. So we're going to take each layer of the sun and bring it to Earth. And there are four layers of the sun. So I'm going to be covering all four of them. Okay, so what would happen if we brought a piece of the sun to Earth? Short answer, uh, short answer, uh, short answer, you die. Uh, long answer, it depends on what piece of the sun. Let's bring, um, let's bring four pieces of the sun to Earth and each the size of a house. So sample one, the chromosphere. The chromosphere is the atmosphere of the sun. The chromosphere is also a million times less dense than Earth's atmosphere. This, um, the moment our sample gets to Earth, the atmospheric pressure around it is going to crush the sample. Um, and then the sample implodes, which um, releases about 12 kilograms of TNT, um, shatters glass, eardrums, and maybe some internal organs. Okay, sample two, the photosphere. The photosphere is the second, more dense layer of the sun. Um, it's also over 5,000 degrees Celsius. It has about the same pressure as our atmosphere on Earth, as you can see here. Um, though much den less dense than air, um, its heat supports it, and so it won't implode. This has about 25 kil uh, ki kilograms of ener TNT energy. Um, it, uh, the, the glowing ball, our sample, um, would, uh, would glow with the light of a million times as bright as the sun seen from Earth. Uh, this causes fires and, um, and probably destroy, will destroy your lab. <laughs> sample three, radiative zone. The radiative zone is at 2 million degrees Celsius and so tightly packed that it kind of creates a maze for itself. Light coming from the core um, uh, bounces off the particles and basically uh, it on average takes about 400,000 years to make it out. made it out okay <laughs> anyway to bring a sample from here is what scientists call a very bad idea <laughs> as soon as it enters our lab the immense pressure keeping it together um, is gone and it explodes with the power of about uh, 453,000 um, hundred four hundred and fifty three million kilograms of TNT about uh, or a nuke. So this is basically kind of what will happen. Um, our lab, as well as the city, um, city surrounding it, will be destroyed. On the bright side, if there is a bright side, uh, there isn't any nuclear fallout. No radioactive decay. Last sample, the core. Um, the core is at 50 million degrees Celsius, hot enough to make he um, helium by smashing together hydrogen atoms. Basically, core plus core plus Earth equals certain death. Um, the biggest nuke ever detonated is the Tsar bomb, T-S-A-R bomb. Um, and that mountain down there, that is, um, that is... Uh, Mount Everest. Uh, yeah. Um, our sample in TNT would be about 4,000 megatons. Core sample to Sir Bomb. 4,000 megatons of TNT um, detonated in a few seconds. Um, 3 million, 3 billion, 628,000 um, million, 700 kilograms of TNT. Uh, that's a lot. Uh, once this, once the, um, once it arrives on Earth, it will explode with a force of 
well, the sun. Uh, <laughs> uh, if we get to sample in Paris in the morning, London would see what looks like a second sunrise, but what? It keeps getting bigger and brighter and hotter until London, London burns to ashes. <laughs> um... Everywhere around 100, 300 uh, kilometers around uh, around Paris would be burned. Um, uh, the shock wave would travel around the Earth several times. Um, the bright side: this will create a global winter and uh, will stop climate change for a few years. Um, lesson learned: do not bring the sun to Earth. Uh, yeah, don't. Uh, <laughs> yeah, don't. So, most of the information in this video was brought brought to me by Kirkazat. This is an uh, awesome, uh, awesome YouTube channel. Check it out right here. This is the video of where I learned this from. Uh, also, if you click here, you will also, you will also get, um, you will also go, um, y you should subscribe. Um, they are funded by Brilliant, which is an awesome problem-solving website. Uh, you should also go check that out. It's really fun. Otherwise, thanks for watching. Um, please, re please remember to put, hit that thumbs up button and subscribe if you like this video. If you disliked it, well, you can hit the dislike button if you want, but... <laughs> um, but if you if you enjoyed it, please hit the like button, subscribe, and share this channel with other people. Otherwise, see what how to do and see you next time. Bye.